the first thing we need to do is be able to get a program onto the microcontroller. And to do this, we need to be able to connect the computer into the microcontroller in some way. And I'm going to be doing this with what is called an, a USB tiny ISP. And it comes with a connector on one side that would be connecting to the computer. And you use a standard um, USB connector that we all know looks like this. And on the other side, it has a connector like this. And then there is circuitry in here to be able to translate that into a readable format for what is called SPI. And an SPI is, um, is either a uh, communication through a 10-pin or 10-position terminal or a 6-position terminal. I will be using the 6-position ter terminal for these examples. And I've created a diagram of what pins on the ISP need to be connected to what pin on the microcontroller. You will see that I have a, a number of points here which correspond to the positions on this programmer. And they all relate to a specific pin on the microcontroller. And that simply takes the information from the computer and it, and it directs it to the correct pin on the microcontroller. I'm not going to give you too much detail in this respect since it really is kind of straightforward. You just assign the pins and connect them to the correct pins on the microcontroller and allow the software to do its job. I'm going to be using a breadboard. It's a larger version of this. It's, um, this is a breadboard, but it's, uh, uh, this is a very small one. Um, the one I'll be using is a much larger one, which will look more like this. And the microcontroller will be sitting on top of this breadboard in some of the pins. In a breadboard, the pins are connected in a, in a fashion that will, that will connect all of these points together. So let's say if I wanted to connect two wires to one of these pins, I can do that with these um, two holes here, or the three holes. If I wanted three wires connected to this one pin, I could do it with the three holes. So they're all connected. All these pins are connected in, in a lateral fashion like this. But they're not connected along this direction. Although in the, um, the breadboard that we'll be using, there will be two rows at the ends that will have power and ground. So what I'm going to do is make a board that looks similar to this. It has a six pin connector here. And then it has the connectors that would be connected to the microcontroller. And uh, you'll have wires going from those pins to these, these pins that will enable me to create a very easy connect and disconnect. So this is what we have. We have a microcontroller that we need to route these pins or these positions to some of these uh, pins here, the MOSI, M ISO, SLK, Reset, uh, VCC, and Ground. So I'm going to position it at number one. Which this is this is kind of an easy way to to know which pin I'm I'm working with, and it has it actually numbered. So it's good to to get a um, breadboard that has it numbered for you. Press it in, and um, because I really don't want to route these positions straight to the pins with just wires. So instead of actually routing individual wires straight from the end of the SPI cable and sticking them into the breadboard like this, you can see it's a little bit flimsy and can get in the way and it doesn't look very neat either. I'll use a board like this so I can just plug the SPI end into the board and then plug this board into the breadboard ensuring that all the connections will be the same every time and I won't have to guess where the where these connections go. First I want to make this as this as small as possible because I don't want it to take up too many of these rows on the on the breadboard. So I'm going to cut this down to only use the uh, six pins that are needed so it'll be six holes going across and cut it back to that point.
One, two, three, four, five, six. You only need to score it on both sides and it'll be able to cut right off. Uh, you might want to sand it a little bit so it's not as sharp on the edges. Now this is our new interface board. And you can see it doesn't take up that many rows. So it'll be very small and out of the way. For the headers I'm going to be using these male header pins and I have already cut two rows of three which are going to match the cable assembly here and now I have to to cut six one row of six. That's three, six. There are a couple ways you can put together the uh, the pins that go on the end. You can either use pins that go in like this, that have an, an L shape, and then they can plug in in this fashion, or the second idea, which I'm going to use, is to take these pins and push these pins out a little bit from the plastic housing that they have and the way to do that is just to press it down you can see how it's going in it takes a little bit of effort but they're all pretty much down and we've essentially lengthened the pins so when we do solder these pins in, they'll have enough length to go into the board. I'm first going to solder on the six pins here. So I'm going to insert it into my vise. These vices are a really big help. Okay, now we're going to start soldering. If you don't know how to solder, it doesn't take long to figure it out. It's best to get the, the metal parts a little bit hot and also tin the um, or put a little bit of solder on the tip get the pieces hot or get the area hot and then start soldering on that wasn't the best that one was good Okay, those are pretty good except for the first one. Oh, that's better. Now we're going to move on to the the pins that will be used for this to plug into. I'm going to put it pretty much at the far end just because I want to have a long way for the, um, uh, not too far. A lot of room for the wires to get to the other end. It looks like this one is going in pretty well. These are really one-sided. You want to make sure that they go in with the slot. It might be difficult to see, but there's a slot on one side of these, and they'll go in together pretty easily. I'm also going to use this to hold it in and hold it straight while I solder. 